Welcome to a Vox Commando tutorial and demo. Today I'll be showing off our brand new Sonos plugin. It's uh, still considered an alpha, but it's quite functional. And I call it an alpha because I think there are still a lot of things that may change or and improvements that we can make. But a lot of the functionality is there and I'm really quite excited to show it off. So I'll start with just a, a quick demo of how to set it up. You start by using a a, a non-system folder, just as with any other install of Vox Commando. And you can pretty much breeze through all of this stuff if you've done it before. If not, you may want to watch an, an older video where I go into more details about doing a setup. You basically just go with uh, the default settings and then launch Vox Commando and choose the engine you want. And since Sonos Right now, the configuration is only available in English. It makes sense to use the SAPI 5 engine, which I prefer in general. And you have to select this configuration. Now you may have another setup in Vox Commando that you want to use and you want to integrate some of the Sonos features into it. And of course you can do that. In fact, the great thing about Vox Commando is that it's not just going to give you voice control over your Sonos, it's going to allow you to integrate your Sonos with all sorts of other cool things in your home with your Google Calendar, your text-to-speech, your Hue lighting, your Vera home automation, have Sonos read you the weather report in the morning using Weather Underground, uh, tell you what your appointments are for the day using Google Calendar plugin, all these things. But in order to get familiar with any new plugin, I always recommend that you start with the preset configurations that we provide. Look at the examples, look at how the commands are built, and uh, just use that as a starting point to test things out before you start uh, trying to create your own. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to start with this preset configuration. And of course, if this is a new install of Vox Commando, you need to create a firewall exception because it talks to pretty much everything through your network. So now that that's done, we've got everything installed in this folder and we can go into the plugin settings for the Sonos plugin. And before generating XML, I always recommend that you select a Sonos that's connected by Ethernet. So whichever system you have is, is probably fine, but in my tests, this Play 3, which is only connected by Wi-Fi, takes quite a bit longer to generate XML because we're sending a lot of information over Wi-Fi. So I always make sure that this is the selected player before I generate my XML. And by default, Sonos will scan all of your favorites, your radio stations, your artists, albums, genres, etc. But it won't scan your tracks because that will be the largest and slowest thing to scan. So this is optional. I have eight or 9,000 songs on my NAS. It's not a problem. It adds an extra uh, you know, 30 seconds at the most. Uh, but if you've got you know, more than 20,000 songs on there, and especially if your Sonos is not on Ethernet, you may notice quite a long delay. But there's no reason why you can't do it. And it's it runs on a thread in the background, so it's not going to lock up Vox Commando. So I'll actually start by generating XML. And you'll see what it does actually is uh, creates this folder and starts putting XML files into it as they become available. And the last one to show up is going to be your um, songs or tracks. When it does finish, it'll pop up this little message here. And of course, Gen XML can be automated in a command as well. And if you do it that way, then it won't pop up this modal dialog. So that's done. We can start controlling our Sonos now with voice commands right away. But in order to use text to speech, we need to configure a couple other things. So basically two things that need to be set correctly for text to speech to work. First off, you need to choose a voice. So we're selecting from the voices that we have installed on this computer that's running Vox Commando. These are all the same voices that you'll see if you open the TTS plugin. And I'll open this up just um, to show you something else. With most voices, it doesn't matter if you use the same voice for both TTS and the Sonos plugin, with the exception of the VW voices. So Bridget and Paul and any other VW voices that you have, there seems to be a limitation that you can only have one handle to this voice at a time. So if this voice is being used by the TTS plugin and you try to use the Sonos plugin, it just won't work. 
and as I said, this is only seems to be the case with these two. And in the future, hopefully I can come up with a fix for it, but bear that in mind. I'll set my TTS to use and uh, just so that I know it's not going to interfere. And then I can use my favorite voices, Bridget and Paul, which are uh, v these, they're called VW Bridget and VW Paul, but I believe the company is NeoSpeech. Now, the other important thing is that we need to save a WAV file in order for text-to-speech to work. So it needs to be saved to a network location that both Vox Commando and the Sonos have access to. When I say Vox Commando, it means this computer that Vox Commando is running on must have access to that network location. So if it's a password-protected share or something, make sure that you've got it set up so that you can access it. This drop-down list is being provided to us. The, the plugin has queried Sonos to get information about the shares that it already has set up. So it's pretty easy to do. Just pick one. And you, you can pretty much assume that as long as this device is powered up, that Sonos is going to have access to it. And you can test it on your local computer by just going to Explorer and pasting in this path verifying that you can access it without being told that you've got security problems or whatever. So as you can see, my, my path is set up here. And that's it. Now we can do a test. I speak I am. I'm going to increase the volume here a bit. That's what I'm talking about. In the test, you can also get it to say whatever you want. Say what I want. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that all right. I'm using one microphone for my voice and for the Sonos, and my voice is probably coming across quite a bit louder. I think I'll stop here and uh, get prepared in order to do some demos.